Welcome to Figure Feedback. My name is Jeremy, and today we got some really exciting news coming out of Rapid Plus TCT 2024. That's a trade show in Los Angeles, and they showcase some really cool things that are 3D printing related. And this news comes from Elegoo, as they have finally revealed their first flagship Core XY consumer grade 3D printer. Let's take a look at it. This is called the Centauri carbon it is a core xy fully enclosed fdm 3d printer and it is scheduled to be released at some point before september so it's almost july now so it's only a couple of months away from actually being released so we should be learning a lot more about this printer very very soon details are very scarce right now but let's just take a look at some of the things that Elegoo decided to reveal to us via their press release so according to the press release this printer has been affectionately nicknamed CC by Elegoo's product team and their goal is to simplify 3d printing for beginners by eliminating the steep learning curve and high costs that have traditionally been barriers. This marks a potential turning point that could extend 3D printing beyond hobbyists into everyday tech, benefiting people's lives. I personally enjoy that quote because that's what I would like to see. And I think a lot of different companies have already made strides towards making that happen. We'll see what Elegoo can bring to the table that's a little bit differently. Let's read a little bit more about this. It says when the Centauri Carbon Project was established in early 2023, its goal was not merely to create another FDM 3D printer, but to develop a true game changer poised to revolutionize the industry. Expected to excel in the consumer grade market, the Centauri Carbon is characterized by a space grade metal design, fully enclosed frame. It boasts smart AI camera capabilities and a sturdy integrated aluminum die cast construction. Chris Hong, who is the founder and CEO of Elegoo, had this quote to share. He said that after extensive testing to ensure it's 100% ready, they have decided to officially launch the first Core XY printer. And it also serves as a workhorse for hobbyists, artists, designers, students, teachers, small businesses, and anyone who loves to create and make things, unleashing their creativity with just a few clicks. So there's not a lot of information necessarily to go off here, just a bunch of marketing speak, a lot of hype. But I do think that it's interesting that they keep pushing this user friendly, it's super simple, people can get into it, that's not just hobbyists. And they round it off by saying that uh, making it the most approachable and user friendly model for 3D printing beginners. And attendees who are there can get a first glimpse of it slated to release before September. Don, don, don. And then the rest of the press release goes on to talk about the uh, recently revealed Mars 5, and that's the resin 3D printer. So just taking a look at the design of this printer, you know, right off the bat, I will say that um, it's definitely not something that blows you away as far as its looks go. You know, it's a very uniform design. It doesn't have to look like a super cool spaceship or anything, but you know, it's just more or less some of the same type of stuff that we've been seeing before. But what we can make out from this is check it out down here. They have the USB port front and center. So that's cool to see it's right there on the front don't have to reach around the machine and do anything like that but we definitely do need to know about more specs and one thing that they did not mention for this printer is whether or not elegoo is going to have their own multicolor or multi-material filament system to go along with this which i think in 2024 when it comes to a flagship 3d printer if you are a major company like elegoo and you're coming out with a printer like this especially the first of its kind for the company it needs to have some kind of multicolor slash multi-filament system ready to go need a way to convince people to buy this and not just go with bamboo lab which is most likely going to be the first and most obvious choice or to go with something like the k2 plus when that is released so if you want to stay competitive they definitely need to have that option on the table 
Another thing that you can notice from this picture here is that their filament spool holder is located on the side and is not located on the back. So that's very nice to see as well. Again, it makes it just easier to uh, work around it so without actually having to reach around the entire printer in order to change the filament. So I'm glad that they went with that type of design as well. I am curious to see what type of innovations Elegoo may have come up with in order to make this printer more user friendly, something that someone who doesn't know anything about 3D printers, if they can get this, will they have an easy enough onboarding to be able to find something and print it and have a good experience with it without knowing the ins and outs of 3D printing or even researching it a fair amount beforehand? That is definitely going to be one of the biggest wins that they can achieve if they manage to pull it off. But we just have to wait and see because that's all the information that is available for this printer at this time. So now I want to ask you, since you now know that this is real and coming out, what do you want to see in this printer? What can Elegoo do for you that will make you pick this printer above its competitors, assuming that it prints really well and the speeds are great and everything else is great, but what's that one killer feature that you need to see from them and how much are you willing to pay for it? So that's it for now. I'm gonna keep my eye on this and I really, really expect to see and hear more about this printer because if it's coming out in September, that's only two months left. They gotta do pre-orders for this. They gotta build up the hype. So, you know, it's, it's bound to be more information on the way very soon. So if you wanna see what else that they might have in store or anything else in the world of 3D printing, be sure to subscribe. Come back here because I'm gonna keep my eyes on this and other things and let you know what's going on. So until then, Take care of yourselves, and I'll speak to you soon.